Good day, guys. I just did a um, about a ten minutes of video, and I didn't put the microphone on. Um, yeah, <laughs> so start again. Uh, okay, a few videos ago, I was playing around with some Arduino um, boards, and I was interfacing them into uh, old SD two thousands, just so I could utilize um, the power transmit stage. Uh, I could use the um, part of the receiver front end and all the timing and the demods and everything else in the detector was not used. So that's um, that project. This, this was a worker, by the way. It worked uh, quite well. And, you know, you're not going to go and stick this into an SD2000. That's pointless. You'd, you'd build up a new detector, of course. And, you know, nice new modern components make it very small. But what we've been experimenting with, we um, have done another Arduino board here, and I'm going to make sure the wires don't pop up. Oops, if I lift it, but you can see there's an Arduino running there on that, and uh, yeah, it's in a breadboard, so it's a little things are a little bit loose. If I tap it, the screen's going to um, want to muck around. But what we're playing around with now is EMF um, rejection, and there's a little algorithm inside the detector, and what that does, it uh, is set up so that it takes noise out of the receive signal and replaces where the noise was with a, um, how would we say, an average of before and after. Um, so the noise isn't there. So rather clever. And We've put a keypad on it. The thing is, I can't remember what half the uh, numbers are now. But anyway, if um, you know, if we touch number one. We'll just do nothing. There we go. Tone. Um, no, we don't want to shut down. Debug off. Um, we'll put the EMF rejection. Well, actually, I'll show you how you do it. This, I think, this is the um, not that one. That one. There we go. Uh, I'll have to get the microphone here and I'll put it right near the little tiny speaker buzzer. Otherwise, you're not going to hear it, so I'll stick it there. So I don't know if that's too loud, too soft, or too anything. But uh, just say um, I'm generating 50 hertz interference. Right? And it's making it go completely crazy, of course. Now, I put the um, EMF reject on. If I remember how to do it. No, that's the wrong way. Uh, hang on. No, two it is, isn't it? Sensitivity is on five. Um, I'm going back to tone. Where are you? There you are. And uh, we've got to um, turn that on. I think it's three for memory. Here we go. So I've got EMF, um, EMI, EMF, rejection on. I'll turn it on and off. That's off. Uh, I've probably got the sensitivity up too high. It's actually overloading it. But, uh, yeah, it should really be um, into a, um, uh, a, you know, have a transmitter and a receiver, um, small boards hooked up to it. We'll get around to that. I've got to make all this stuff up, and uh, usually it's not enough. I'm going to keep listening to that. There's usually not enough time in the day to play with all this sort of stuff. So, uh, if I okay, tone sensitivity. I've got to turn the sensitivity down. I think it's um, sensitivity down, which are is three. No, can't remember. Oh, there we go. I'll put it down on one. Where are you? And we'll put okay, let's have a listen this time. I was. Okay, it's EMF rejection off. I haven't got the microphone near the thing, so I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, I don't want that noise amplified too much. It's just, like I say, it's on a little buzzer, and I've got a resistor in series to cut the audio level down. And if we turn this on, uh, fat fingers. Uh, I did it again, didn't I? Yeah, up, and then three. There we go. Okay, it's it's just too much signal getting in. It's overloading. 
yeah. But anyway, when, when we're doing experiments and so forth and just putting um, signal generator levels in and so forth and on the oscilloscope, uh, you could see the difference that was making. So, yeah, I don't think, you know, I've got um, bare feet in here, got my feet on the ground, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm loaded up with 50 um, hertz um, AC interference, and I'm touching the, uh, the wire there. Well, I'll touch it very lightly on the end without grabbing it hard. Okay. And off. Uh, I don't think it's going to uh, make much of a dif difference um, to the audio coming out until I hook it up properly. But, yeah, I just thought I'd show that, um, where we're up to on that uh, design there. Um, like I say, um, it's all works in progress. So that's, that's um, one of the little projects we're working on. Um, like I say, it's going to be a pulse induction detector. It's not going to be um, a VLF. But, you know, 90% of the performance of these detectors is the input stages. Um, you know, and as long as you do the DMOD correctly, it shouldn't be any losses in that part of the circuitry. And the rest is simple. It's, you know, the, you know power amplifier, transmitter, um, you know, a bit of... Um, voltage feedback to clamp the back EMF. It's, that's all pretty basic stuff. It's not very difficult to do. And then you've got audio and, um, you know, ground ground uh, tracking. Ground, ground uh, tracking, um, everyone has thought was a black art for many, many years. It's actually, it's quite basic, actually. Um, people make out it, do a real song and dance about, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, it's going to have this weird offset. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Um, we've done experiments and, uh, yeah, the, the ground um, balance or, or, or cancellation, we'll call it, is absolutely dead simple to do. Uh, fully automatic, not even a problem. It's really um, not rocket science at all. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Anyway, we'll keep this one short and uh, we'll make another one on uh, another topic. Catches.